have been gone for a hot minute. My apologies. My absence has not been intentional. But I'm back now and I'm going to explain my absence to you. And in explaining to you why I've been gone, which was due to technical difficulties, I'm hoping that it will help someone else who has a Apple computer um, and just wants to know that someone's accessible if they need them for a good price to fix their problems. Stay tuned. So literally, as soon as I come here to Daegu, I relax a little bit, I turn on my computer, and there's some disk utility, something, something that's just, I can't bypass, something is just not right. I ignore it because I just got into the country, I'm trying to relax, do experience some stuff that I remember, do a little sightseeing, seeing, just like enjoy myself. By the time I get the energy to deal with my computer again, I realize, oh wow, like this is really like not working. I can't bypass this disk utility page for whatever reason. No amount of Googling or whatever research that I did was able to help me with the issue. So I had to reach out to Mac PC guys. Now, I found out about this company a few years ago because with that current computer I was using, a MacBook, a MacBook Air, I spilled water on it and it would just would not work. But they were able to get it to work again. All my information was there. Everything was fine. So I knew that I could trust them and I knew that I would get a good price. So I reached out to them and they told me I can go ahead and send my computer to them. They did, the issue turned out to be something hardware related. So that took a little while. When I finally got my computer back and attempted to start recording for you guys, I had another issue. My computer would go to sleep at random moments, like just out of nowhere. And again, I went straight to Google and the first thing they told me was to check my settings um, and a whole bunch of other things, which I did, but it just still did not help me. So I had to hit up these guys, Mac PC guys again, and ask them like, you know, can I send it back to you? I am having another problem. And a good thing with them is that when you use their service, I think they give you like 30 days. And if another issue arises in that time period, they'll fix the issue. They'll see your laptop again with no problem. So I was able to send it to them and not be charged again. So when they got my computer back, he texted me and he said, you know what? Yeah, this problem, um, I don't know. I, I, I can fix it, but it's going to cost this amount of money. And there's no, um, there's no definite that it's going to work after. Because at some point, it started dying on him as well. So what he told me was that I should just invest the money, buy a whole new laptop. I think it would have charged, he would have charged me like $300 or something like that to fix it, but he said it wasn't worth it. So I appreciated that truth and decided, okay, fine, I will just buy a new laptop. So now I needed a new computer. I decided to go that route. I went to one of the stores here. There's no Apple store here. There's one in Seoul, but there's none in Daegu. But there were like some other stores that sold Apple products. I went to one of them and for a MacBook Pro, I think it was something crazy, like 2Gs or something, which was extremely high. And I mean, I didn't want to pay, pay that much for a laptop because I know that even though I'm not in the States, that in the States, it would cost half that much. So I had to find a solution. I decided to have my brother send me, buy a laptop. He sent it to me. My husband, he has a friend on the military base, so we were able to send it to my husband's friend. And then from there, we just got it. And when I got that laptop, I was able to get Microsoft Word Office on there and have all of my files and documents put onto this laptop um, remotely. So I didn't even need to go all the way to Gwangju, which is where they were located. So that worked out. So. That is why I have been absent. Now let me tell you information on this company so that you could reach out to them if you need. So if you're having issues with your Mac or maybe any Apple products, I believe they fix things like cell phones and stuff too. The first thing you wanna do is you want to find them on Facebook. 
and I will put a link to their Facebook page in the description box below. Then you want to let them know exactly what is going on and from there they'll let you know how to proceed. Their cacao information is also found in a thread from like 2007, 2009 um, on a website called Way Group. So if you want to go that route and just get their cacao information instead of finding them on Facebook and sending them a message on there, I will put the link to that thread so that you can kind of see um, the other comments that are there. If that's your thing, if you want to see what other people were saying, and if you just want the cacao information so you can just send them a direct message. Their office is located in Guangzhou. And of course, if you want your computer fixed, they're going to have to get it. So you're going to have to bring it to them somehow. So you could either go there or you could just send it via the mail. Now, the two times that I use them, well, technically three times that I use them, I've always just used the post office and that's worked perfectly fine. From Daegu, which is where I am, to Guangzhou, which is where their office was, I think it cost me about four or five dollars to send it in the post office. So it's pretty inexpensive. Now, even though I use them, I have no idea if they're foreigners or not. But as far as communication goes, I had no problem communicating with them. They spoke perfect English. So if you're worried about, you know, communicating your problem with your device to them, you're not gonna have that kind of issues. Like they, they're English, they have legit English. Now, when it comes to the price, I feel like they are really fair. Now, of course, things are going to differ from case to case. Everyone's not gonna have the same exact problem, um, which will then result in the same exact price. But I feel like what I was charged was a really good deal. And again, I feel like they were honest. When I had a second issue with my laptop, he told me straight up, it's going to cost you about this much money, but I don't think it's worth it for you to pay it because there's a possibility that it still won't be 100% by the time I finish with it. So you're better off taking the money that you would pay me to fix it and just invest it into a new computer, which is what I did now. So I respected that because he didn't have to do that. All right, guys, that's all for now. I hope that you found this video helpful. Expect more YouTube videos now that I got my stuff together. Um, I'm going to be roaming around downtown, food shopping, just what I do every day. And this perspective will be interesting because I'm not here teaching English in a school. Though I do still work online, but I'm working remotely. So I have a large part of my day to do whatever it is that I want. So I'm going to be bringing you guys along to show you some of the things that I'm doing, what I'm cooking in the kitchen, how I'm spending my free time. So stay tuned.